Hey guys, it's Leah from Paper Beats Rock Designs back with a fun memory decks card project um, made with some oddball art stamps. Here is the May exclusive stamp for premium members of the uh, Creepy Cute Chronicles. And this is stamp number 378, the Haunted Mermaid, um, that is available in the shop. So I have um, some cheap glitter paint from the dollar store. This is crushed alabaster. Um, in real life, it's so much more colorful. Right now, I just feel like it looks like a jar of rocks, but it like shines back kind of rainbowy. So I have these um, rolled X cards that I printed out. I will leave the link to the website where I get. Uh, my templates for memory X cards and I printed it out on cardstock and I'm gluing them together and then I am going to put one of these marble papers on top which is also cardstock so when I'm done with just the paper it's gonna be really nice and stiff so it can hold up to a lot <clears throat> so I'm kind of kind of shopping the mermaids around and I picked a spot I like so now I'm going around the whole thing after gluing it down uh, with some just acrylic paint just to give the edges um, a little definition. So now I've grabbed a brown paper bag and um, I kind of distressed it a little bit, and I'm carving these stamps by Frank Garcia, and I stamped out a heart, and I fussy cut that out, and I grabbed some more paper from that brown paper bag, and I'm just crinkling it up and um, rolling it up and unrolling it to give it a lot of texture. go back to my tacky glue and glue along the top edge of that paper and then go along the bottom edge of the memory decks card just so I don't get the glue everywhere and I have it all the way up to the edge of my paper but not any extra on the paper. So I go ahead and glue that down and then trim that down and I don't make you watch any of that. So that's how it looks. After that, I go to my crushed alabaster, which in the pictures you can see a little bit better. But I lay down a good line of that tacky glue and try to grab the smallest bits of that alabaster. So now I've gone to the stamps I had over next to me. Um, this is a dot stamp from a Citrus Twist Kit. I am not sure of when. It's from a couple years ago. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the footage of this, but all of a sudden I looked up and I was not recording. But I grabbed some gauze and some tool and layered that up um, with some hot glue just to give some like netting kind of look to the background. And now I'm coming in with the treasure chest from the May exclusive stamp from Oddball. I'm gluing that on down behind where my um, haunted mermaid is gonna go. And I come in with that Frank Garcia stamp that says you drown um, my fears in perfect love. And I just stressed that a little bit more and I glue that on behind them. Kind of in between the layers of gauze and <clears throat> and tool. Then I um grabbed some foam adhesive. It was actually rolled foam adhesive from the dollar store and it was super, super sticky. So I didn't have to add any extra glue to these, which was nice. And I stuck down um, that first Haunted Mermaid in green. 
Then I stuck down my other mermaid. Also on some craft foam. So I'm loving the way that looks. I'm loving the dimension, but you can see the foam when you tilt it. So I came back with some more glue. Added some more glue um, underneath them. And I also kind of added some to the mermaids and the treasure chests themselves. That way they kind of look sunk in to all the alabaster. I got smart about the alabaster at the end and used this little tray to kind of pour everything in, contain some of the mess. Okay, so now I am adding itty bitty shells on top of the crushed alabaster. Some of them are from necklaces, so that's why they have those um, little holes in them. I also went and grabbed the little cluster of shells and starfish and there's a little skull in there from the haunted mermaid set and pop that onto my background and now i'm just kind of going around and figuring out where i want all these little itty bitty shells to go i glued down a teeny tiny star that is from another um creepy chronicles set i believe it's like Creepy Chronicles either six, maybe four. It's one of the early ones. And I had printed it out and cut out um, a bunch of little stars. So I added a little star above that mermaid. And now I'm just adding, um, trying to figure out where I can add another one of those little shells. Cause I love the shells. I love all the different textures and the different types of shells. But that one really didn't want to cooperate. I wanted to put on one of these little hermit crab, I think, shells or like tiny conch shells. That wasn't really having it. All right, so that's how it looks with all the little shells on them. Um, I wasn't really happy with that big blob of hot glue there, so I decided to go through with that <clears throat> glitter paint from the dollar store. It wasn't totally dry um, at this point, so I went through with some makeup from Wet n Wild. Um, they're really pretty colors, and I just don't find myself wearing a lot of makeup these days. So I added some to the bottom of this in that darker purple. And it really does give a cool like purple black color. Add a little bit to um, the May mermaid. And a little bit to the heart as well, I think. And I have these eyeshadows in two sets. I have a purple set and I have a green set. So I came back through with the green set. I use the um, back side of my paintbrush to kind of crunch up the side of the eyeshadow and um, put a lot down on there. This white one is really, really pretty. Um, it's iridescent and kind of shines back green. So I add that onto the bottom and then I also add that onto their tails. Um, I also come back with that dark green and um, add that to the bottom as well, kind of darken up the bottom of the memory decks card. And add a little bit to that heart too, so it's got the purple and the green on there. When I am all done with this, I do um, go out because this eyeshadow is, of course, not for art and it's not permanent. Um, I go and grab a clear, flat spray paint 
and um, give it a really light, light coating. That way the eyeshadow stays permanent and can't be um, smudged off. And this is the way it all turned out. I love the ending results. I love all the texture at the bottom and those beautiful mermaids. Make sure to sign up for the Creepy Cute Chronicles to get a free stamp every Friday and um, sign up for the premium membership to start getting those awesome monthly stamps. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time.